What's up guys, Rob Sandvils here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're good. Uh, so I'm in the middle of a pretty crazy four days of sports photography right now. Today is Sunday. Um, yesterday I shot some rugby. I was at Twickenham doing the England-Argentina game. Uh, any of you guys who follow my Instagram, you guys would have seen some of the detail around that. Uh, if you don't follow my Instagram, you should be guys because I put some stuff on there. I put like some behind the scenes and I put some stuff on my story normally as well. So go check that out guys. I put my, um, my Instagram and my Twitter feed on the screen right now so today we are shooting some basketball uh, I've got basketball today tomorrow I've actually not got a photography job on but I've got some other work to do and then Tuesday night is England against Brazil football at Wembley so that should be a big one too so today we've got basketball guys I've got the Surrey Scorchers at home to the Manchester Giants love a bit of basketball indoors in this colder weather that's going to be nice uh, about to head over there right now I'm going to show you guys a little bit about it show you guys some behind the scenes stuff as we go but before we get to that, guys, don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Loads more videos like this to come. Loads more have already done. You guys should go and check those out. Don't check them out right now, though. At the end of this video, there'll be some links to some of these other videos. If you are already a subscriber, guys, thank you very much. But don't forget to hit that notification button. That's the bell next to the subscribe button. And that's going to let you know every time I upload. Right, we're about to head over to the basketball. But before we do that, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the gear um, that I'm taking with me. So let's look at it. Okay guys, so let's have a look. First of all, I've got my little chair back thing down there that you guys have probably seen before in some of the videos. Always take that. Got my roller case ready to go. Anyone who's on my Instagram, you guys might have seen some stuff about this case already. I'm going to do a full review of it though. Getting on well with it already. I used it at Twickenham yesterday and that was really cool. So, what are we taking with us? So here we go. First of all, I've got my laptop. I'm going to need that definitely for sending some images. Cameras wise, I've got my 272s over here. I've got my 70 to 200. I've got some other like random accessories and stuff. <laughs> the the, uh, the sort of gorilla pod is actually more so I can film some stuff for you guys. I probably won't use that too much in the game. Probably won't use my strap either. I've got my two wider lenses. I've got my th uh, my eighteen thirty five just here. That's my real wide angle. My ten to twenty two, and then lurking in there, I've got my fifty mil as well. And in fact, under here, guys, I've also just got a couple of other little triggers and stuff, and my accessories right there. Whoa, that's my feet. So that's the gear. Oh, I've got memory card, spare batteries too, guys. A couple of other accessories and stuff in there, but that's all we're going to need. No monopod today, um, no long lens, no 300mm, anything like that. Um, I won't be needing it. This is the, the 200 is the longest that I will need for this. Cool. Okay, guys, right, let's get heading over to the game. way to the game um, now with the BBL games um, this is basketball in the UK guys I have 40% of my subscribers are from the States so you guys are probably used to slightly bigger venues and maybe higher level of basketball if you are shooting at pro level I would imagine probably a lot of guys who are interested in me most of the pro guys like NBA and stuff probably aren't watching me <laughs> so so you guys out there you're probably more doing like high school college stuff I would guess which is gonna be well in fact you know what if you're doing college you're probably gonna be in bigger stadiums than I am over here but I'm sure you'll still be doing games that are comparable with with what I shoot so I normally tend to try to get there about an hour before the game. Um, I'll be honest, I'm a bit late today. Um, not later than I, than I should be. I'll still get there probably like half hour, 40 minutes before the game. But ideally I like to get there a bit before. Um, so in terms of what I'm aiming for today, obviously I have to shoot all the match action. I'm also going to do a few other bits as well. I always do some post-game stuff. I'm going to do some like players walking out and stuff as well. I always try to, like at every game, I try and do a different aspect of something as well as the match action. So today I'm going to try and do something a bit more special with the players walking out. Um, it's not like the football stuff where I do, where I have to try and send images out as quick as I can, because these aren't going out to media outlets. I mean, they will eventually, but there's not the demand in the UK for something like basketball in the same way that there is when I do my football work or maybe rugby or something like that. So I don't. I will edit and send some images for halftime so that the team have got something to use on their social media, things like that. But I'm not as in, in as much of a rush to send um, live like you guys have seen in my other videos and workflow. 
So we are probably about 10 minutes away now from, from the arena and where the game is over in Surrey by Guildford. You guys who know it, Surrey Sports Park is where it's at. Um, I will be down there shortly and we'll show you a little bit of what's going on at the arena. All right guys, here we are. Just walking into the uh, arena. What's up guys, so I thought I would do a little bit of narration for this part of the video um, just while you guys watch me unpack my gear, get my stuff out I'm going to be getting my two cameras out, my two Canon 7D Mark IIs uh, Just a quick side note guys, that date in the bottom of the picture there, that is totally wrong um, It's like a cheap, um, sort of fake GoPro thing and that's why that's there, it's not the right date, so just ignore it hey? um, I shot this today, which is the 12th of November um, So getting my cameras ready, you're also going to see me get my laptop out and I'm just double checking that I've got all my photo mechanic right um, you know, making sure I've got Lightroom open and that my presets are in the right place and that I'm all good to go so I can send the images nice and quick at half time when I need to. You'll also see me turn my back um, to my bag there and I'll be using um, my cameras, just double checking the exposure. I'm pretty familiar with this venue so I don't tend to spend much time doing that here. But I'll just double check the exposure, make sure I've got it right and make sure I'm all set ready to go for the game. Guys, so game's about to start right here behind me. I'm going to have a shooting position which is going to be over on the opposite corner. I'm about to show you right now. So my, if you can hear me, my, hopefully you can hear me now, my shooting position is going to be down that end of the court. Um, about where you can see my little floor thing like over, over there. Hey guys, so just a bit of match action here. I thought I'd just add another little bit of narration for you. So here I'm just shooting the game, um, just trying to get some action shots. Especially in the first half, I generally try to aim for as much um, kind of, I suppose, what I would call stock action as I can. I try to get a few landscape shots, I make sure I've got a few portrait so, um, shots. So I've got a mixture of stuff that can be used on social media. Um, and also, this team in particular, they need um, five landscape shots uh, with like some crowd action and stuff in the background um, that they can use to send off to the league as well. So I deliberately make sure that I've got that stuff in there. So yeah, just um, shoot in the first half. Hey guys, so um, half time now, just sending some images uh, right here. Uh, Scorchers lead the New, the New, New York Giants, at least hit that's an the belt. The Manchester Giants by 10 points, 51 to 41. Good game, good first half, got some decent images. I'm uh, just sending them across. Uh, like I said, I'm not sending them out to an agency, I'm just sending them to the team uh, who, oh, sorry guys, I'm coming close, um, who will then use them for social media, stuff like that. Right, second half's in about five minutes, so I've got to get these set, and then we'll be good to go. I hope you guys can hear me, it's noisy in here, um, but catch you after the second half. Okay, we will do the... Hey guys, so post game, I'm um, just getting some photos done, sent out right here, my photo mechanic. They clear this place out quick, like the game finished, probably, what time is it? The game probably, okay, 15 minutes ago the game finished, and look, let me show you already where they've got this to. Look, here you go, it's this empty. So I'm going through these photos using Photo Mechanic, picking the best ones. Uh, well, in fact, these are the ones that I'm going to send. Um, I then put them into Lightroom. You guys have seen my workflow video. In fact, if you haven't already seen my workflow video, guys, go check that out. Um, and hopefully you will learn something from that. 
Hey guys, so all done. Just heading out towards the car. Uh, images sent, I sent 26 images over, um, which have gone over to the team. I actually, I mean, I actually did send them over to the agency as well, just, you know, just in case, who knows, in case something gets picked up. Um, but they've gone out to the team and they're sent, just walking back to the car. Um, and yeah, all done. So yeah, guys. All done. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I haven't done one of these things for a little while since the football game. In fact, actually, I'm just thinking about the order I put the videos up in. It was actually one of my last videos, but I filmed another couple of bits since then. So, hey, anyway. Um, so, yeah, look, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's what it's like shooting a BBL game. Um, not quite as big and glamorous as, as some of the other, you know, Champions League and stuff. But, hey, it's still good fun. It's actually probably my favourite sport to shoot. So, so really cool. Um, images are all done. I'll include a few of those at the end of the video so you guys can see some of the stuff that we got. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next video. See you guys.